In this video, I'll show you how to paint a minimalistic oil painting in the alla prima technique. And make sure you stick around towards the end of the video where I share my five best tips for this type of painting technique. Hey there, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sean, and I like to paint. Today I'll be working on an eight by eight inch wood panel. I'll be using oil paints, of course, and my medium of choice today is Liquid Original by Winsor & Newton. So I'm going to be painting a minimalistic seascape in the Alla Prima technique, which means I'll be finishing the painting in one sitting. Here I've mixed Cobalt Turquoise, Quinacadrone Magenta, Ultramarine Blue and Titanium White. And I've kept this mix very thin. And that doesn't mean that I use loads of painting medium to thin the paint down. I just used a little bit of my liquid, but I make sure to really scumble that paint into the surface as I want a really smooth layer. This will also make adding the next layer of paint easier as it will sit on top of this thin wet layer, but more on that later. As I reach the bottom of the surface, I had a touch more titanium white to brighten up the distant sky and blend that to give me a nice gradient. I go back in with a slightly darker mix just for some added interest and lighten some areas where needed. I probably should have used a larger brush. Now with the same colour mix, with a bit more ultramarine blue added, I add in a distant islands and start mapping out where I want the sea to be. I'm going to be doing a lot of blending in this painting. I really want to create a painting that, well, looks effortless. Something that has atmosphere and depth. I've heard that it's really difficult to keep painting simple and not to overwork them, which I think is kind of true. But if I can stay true to myself and my goals for this piece, I think I can pull it off. Keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. Now, I purchased a new knife the other day and I think I like it so far. This paint mix is Burn Sumber, Ultramarine Blue and Quinacodrone Magenta and I lighten the mix with Titanium White as the painting develops towards the bottom. I just love working in the Alla Prima technique. It takes a lot of thought and although it's spontaneous, every brush stroke must be placed with attention and it's important to keep your brushes clean between applications. I don't use mineral spirits, I just wipe the brushes on a rag or some kitchen roll or if they get too painty then I'll grab a new brush.
As you saw in the distant sea, the paint I used was thick, which sits nicely on top of the thin paints. For the clouds here, with a mix of guanacojone magenta and titanium whites, I spread it like peanut butter on bread. I love peanut butter and I love oil paints, but in very different ways. I then get a soft brush and begin dabbing and blending into the thin layer of wet sky. I do this at the bottom of the clouds to get that nice blend and keep the top of those clouds really opaque to indicate where the light is because generally the light is on the top part of the clouds. So if you're painting Anna Prima, also known as direct painting, here are my top five tips. Number one, start with a limited color palette. Begin with a limited selection of colors on your palette. This simplifies color mixing and ensures color harmony in your painting. Number two, mix colors before you paint. Preparing your paint mixes on your palette beforehand will help maintain a fluid and spontaneous painting process. Number three, work with a limited time frame. Anna Prima is about capturing a moment and working quickly. Set a time limit for your painting session, which can range from a couple of hours to a single session. Number four, use thin to thick paints. Working in this order will ensure your color mixes are clean. And when it comes to working thick, be generous with the paints. Number five, stay relaxed and enjoy the process. Ada Prima can be challenging, but it's also a lot of fun. Don't stress over perfection. Focus on the joy of painting. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a tutorial which involves painting layers, then check out this video here.